My next guest uh, probably doesn't need an introduction for you guys, but uh, I just want to say that we're super excited to have him. He's part of the Vox family. Uh, he's about to launch an amazing new game site. Please welcome Chris Grant. Yes. Grant. Chris Grant. All right. <laughs> I don't think we rehearsed that enough earlier. The uh, rehearsal was a lot longer. I mean, <laughs> a lot longer, a lot slower. Yeah. Wasn't it? Chris, thank you for joining us. Thanks. Thank Thanks you so much for being here. Thanks for having me. I don't know whose booze that is, but you're welcome to. Uh, That's my booze. Is that yours? Yeah, no, it's great. Snuck it out here just a second. Fantastic. Uh, so, hey, got a new website. Polygon. Well, it's not there yet. You don't have it yet. No, it's not there. So Chris is, as you guys may know, he is, uh, he's the editor-in-chief of uh, formerly Vox Games, now uh, now Polygon, and uh, got a crew of amazing, there's the logo, this awesome logo, which I'm really I have a, kind of in love with. Um, you, have so how did you get this name? I mean, this is incredible. So Polygon.com. Yeah, it's Polygon.com. You would think that there would be no chance of anybody ever getting that. Um, we had to fight. I mean, so, so we had the, the, the team, like you said, and uh, we got a bunch of editors together and thought what would make a great Gaming site. Yeah, an amazing team. I mean, this team is like, I mean, I know it's, it's a team. you may not know all of these people by name, but you should. This is like a, such a super group of gaming journalists. And we're still hiring. Still hiring. Jobs, uh, there's job postings on the site. Job postings on the site, yep. Yeah. Um, so we're, uh, we're talking about names. We come up with Polygon pretty early. I think it was actually Justin McElroy and I. And um, we start thinking about what other what other names if we can't get Polygon? So we start yeah, pursuing. I, I, I was actually in uh, one of these, you guys were having like Skype conversations with um, uh, fantasy backgrounds and like a robot would go by. <laughs> and, uh, but you were having, you guys were having in the office one day, you were having like a Skype conversation. You, you were like brainstorming. Yeah, we, we, had, we brainstormed. You had, a, you, have a, you had a lot of different ideas for names. Yeah, so. And you brought some slides. Yeah, so we thought we'd uh, share, if you guys uh, didn't see it, we shared some of these at PAX. Uh, what some of our names, what some of our potential names? Yeah. Were so these are be. these are just so you understand. It was there was a period where it didn't look like you could get Polygon. We were we were and sure. and you're like let's we got to think of something else. Here are some. This this could be the name. Yeah. And 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 we're gonna take you uh, on a walk through them. Here we go. So the first one, Ragdoll. This Ragdoll, yeah. So yeah. Ragdoll. Uh, is this is this an album cover? What is this? <laughs> no. So we 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 did some concept art. You know, <laughs> picked some of the names. We had this hundreds. Like, this is like uh, Lincoln Park. This is like it's edgy. Limp, Limp Biscuit. This yeah, is no, Limp, Limp Biscuit. Biscuit. Yeah, that's good. That's Puddle good. of Mud. And we thought <laughs> Puddle of Mud fans like what dolls? Yeah. And so like insane uh, clown posse. This is sort of insane clown posse. Yeah, style. it's got some juggalo going on. Yeah. Um, it's got a clown. So uh, a rag doll so clown. Those rag dolls. It's gonna be ragdoll.net. S maybe I don't know. Super disturbing. So the next. What was month, the thing? What was the thinking behind ragdoll? Like what? Uh, we it was we had a I don't know two hundred names on a whiteboard. Yeah, like it's a it's a thing. It's a thing people that exists. With, people did play with it at one point. Yeah. Now uh, it just terrifies. Well, ragdoll physics, right? In games, you got trials. You know, you go floppy. Ragdoll. All right, next slide. Cratepedia. <laughs> uh, we played a lot of. I don't understand. We played a lot of Super Crate Box. Uh, that's the only. That's is it, what is this? Is it an iOS game? Yeah, it's an iOS game. You were talking about it before. This looks really I've good. I've never, I've never played this. Yeah. yeah. All right, crate. Cratepedia, Cratepedia. We weren't sure it's of like pronunciation. It's like a Wikipedia for crates. Yeah, and the whole site design, we pitched it to Bankoff at Vox Media, and he said, wait a second, you're going to make Wikipedia for one game? And we said, sorry for wasting your time, sir. <laughs> All right, what's, that? what's the next one? Uh, Gamer Nista. Gamer Nista. One of my favorites. It's edgy. Uh, you know, you're thinking like, re like revolution. What's revolutionary? Ed it's like, uh, you know, throwing a Molotov cocktail at the game industry. Right, yeah. Just blow it up. So like what burn, is like, burn, like Sandinistas, burn gamers Gamernistas? alive, yeah. Huh? So we would I don't know. You have like a you have a theme. You know you wear masks. <laughs> I like and stuff. the art you you bought after this. Yeah, and great so font, great use of a font. Mocked there. up some good stuff. There. All right, what, what we got? What's the next one? Sprites. <laughs> so I think you can see the branding opportunities. Great brand, already. great branding opportunities. It's not a it's not a it's a short walk to paradise, really. Yeah, and. Uh, uh, Come didn't check out Sprites.com for the internet, uh, website, video games, also drink Sprite. But does Sprite own Sprites.com? Uh, it's parks. These were all parks. Let's find out. So this was all. Check it out, guys. I'm using it on the air. <laughs> Are you happy now? Let's see who, uh, let's see. Sprites.com. Yeah, it was a, I think it was a great opportunity 
uh, to pursue. Is it going to have the girl going to college, maybe? Oh, it's like a park. Wow. Yeah, there you go. She's Wait. checking the internet. You guys see that? That's, so that's how you know it's a good site. So I think we could have done a little that... something better with this. <laughs> By the way, they want $1 million for this site. Here's the crazy thing. Why doesn't Sprite buy it and make a new line of Sprite called Sprites and you right? buy multiple Sprites? Yes. All right, what's the next one? Don't just buy one. Object. <laughs> this is a personal favorite because it's like, what isn't an object? They're all objects. It's an object. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I, I object. That's the problem with objects. <laughs> objection. Uh, Phoenix Wright fan site. Think what? about it. Phoenix Wright, you know, the I, objection, no, you don't. Everyone else gets it, right? Yeah. It's okay. <laughs> a tough fly. Fair fly. Yeah. All right. They get it. They get it. Next one. Screenplay. Screenplay. This was mine. I get it. You play on a screen. Yeah. Yep. Also, yep. it's a thing that uh, Ben Affleck and Matt A little more do. common use so to, it's, to the thing that uh, you get used to make a movie. It's tricky. Yeah. Uh, All right. What else do we have? Oh, this is good gamer team. <laughs> this is <laughs> this one's confusing. I'm confused. That is a poster of the Libertine starring Johnny Depp. Yeah, that's Libertine starring Johnny Depp. And and that is Ovaltine. Yeah, we <laughs> you you tweet, but you've done some editing, some some, uh, some MS Paint creative companies. adjustment. Yeah, we couldn't determine. Is it what about it is, is it is to. the site about you know crazy sex? Is it about a kid's <laughs> drink? <laughs> or is it a combination of the two? Oh, good so I think, it, I think you're getting to the right point. Yeah, uh, okay. You know those guys that wear diapers? <laughs> the only way they can get it going? You went yeah. there. You really, yep. really went there. I think it's good. Uh, uh, what, else, what else we have? Mesh. <laughs> Mesh.com. We have a picture of a guy in a mesh shirt. It could be could girls. Be, it could be a woman. You know, this is, it's, it's unisex. It's just like uh, it. edgy. Like it. Is it actually what Mesh is? Is it like a Mesh clothing site? Uh, no, it's parked. These are all parked. These are all available, so you guys, we're <laughs> you got, giving you well, these ideas. Well, they're available, you have to buy them. Yeah, and no, they're not free. So guys, uh, or girls, mesh.com, that's out there. All right, what, what else do we have? Think about it. This is a classic, AP Aragon. <laughs> so we, I, we don't, I don't understand. We couldn't get a polygon. What other kinds of gons are there? Um, what, is, what is an AP, what is, it's what a lot is of an gons. AP Aragon? You might know like dodecahedron, like that's not that's <laughs> don, that's not a god. But, so AP Aragon is an infinite uh, polygon with like no ends, but it's countable. I don't know. It's a math did you, term. Did you consider infinite polygon? Because that's not bad. Oh, that's not bad. It's huh? a lot of letters, though. See, yes. Aragon, nice and short, easy to spell. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> not actually either of those well, things. All right, what all else? Right, what sure. else do you have? Entertainment. Uh, <laughs> I think it's pretty good. I like this. What is this branding? Is that? First off, is that the warp from the beginning of Star Trek when, the, when it zooms? I feel the like guy this is... from Mega 64. That's the Mega 64 guy. No, but right what there. is what's the what's the yeah, background? It's like a, it's like a, it's a warp like a field. Warp field. It's a warp field. Yeah. Field. Enter game. It easy to spell over the phone. E N T. All the letters sound the same. Oh yeah. G. And it, it's got some clever wordplay. Enter game. Game. You know, game mint. It sounds like entertainment. Get it? No. So you maybe didn't see that the terrible. first time. That's terrible. What else? Through and this is this was actually not but Vox Games. This is we not use the, Vox Games, but uh, our our unofficial mascot and potential URL Panda Suplex. <laughs> Pandasuplex.com. It's available. What's incredible about about Panda Suplex? We had artwork oh, made. First up. off, <laughs> it's available. <laughs> oh, it wasn't taken somehow. Uh, um, but what's incredible about Panda Suplex is it's uh, you did the art of a uh, it's. The pandas doing the move. Yeah. If you actually Google panda suplex, you find a lot of animated GIFs of pandas suplexing each other, which is amazing. <laughs> I recommend you do it. Really? Yeah, no, I'm not even kidding. Here's the best part, though. That guy isn't suplexing the panda. Because you think panda su like you're suplexing the panda. Oh, you're panda. doing a, yeah. The yeah. panda's suplexing the panda. No, no, I think of it as a move. The panda oh, suplex. Oh, the panda suplex. That's like, a good so a panda could do it, or a human might learn how to do it hmm. from, from a panda. From maybe being raised panda. by pandas. Raised by pandas. Hmm. How did you win all those wrestling matches? I learned the panda suplex. Wow. Yeah. There's a there's <laughs> missed a, opportunity. There's a touching fanfic here. Is this done? Are we uh, done? I think that's it. Is that it? So there's some other names. I think I think Polygon was uh, ultimately a better. We name. have about 90 other ones. So. <laughs> you really? You have slides for all of them? <laughs> They're great. That's wonderful. I wish I could have been there for the vetting <laughs> process. I'm glad that I have this. Uh, sorry, I'm just going to close that. A little too. What sprites? A little too much. I had the lyrics to Ragdoll up. By the way, I wanted to. I'm not going to go through them now. <laughs> kind of busy opportunity. Really uh, all right, so let's just talk a little bit about gaming news, and then we're going to do something very fun. Uh, you wanted to talk about the um, Steam Box. Yeah. We, thought, we reported on this. This is Valve. It's, it, you know, we've heard creating some kind of console. And I talked to you when mm -hmm. we had some info. I ran it by you. You're like, this kind of makes sense with what I've heard. Explain to me why or how Valve might want to create something. Valve's been in the news a lot lately. There was, of course, the... 
the rumor that uh, Tim Cook stopped by Valve HQ, which... Uh, which is a huge lie. Yeah, apparently it's just a giant lie. Gabe Newell said it didn't ever happen. But, um, they say no to a, they say that a lot of things aren't happening. It's true. I don't know, who knows? Uh, so this is actually, this is a picture from, um, from Valve's website promoting big picture mode, which they announced in uh, February 2011. And the idea is heading to the living room or anywhere there's a big screen, the Steam's soon to be released. This was 13 months ago, 14 yeah. months ago. Uh, this is over a year ago. Offering simple, easy to read navigation design specific for deep. So the idea is here, it's, it's a Steam in your living room, like yep. you know, if you were playing it on your TV, like on your a couch. console. But how does that work? You have a gigantic like gaming keyboard and like a 20 button mouse. So they announced on this. A, one of those like TV dinner things. Yeah, on a tray that's that a cool, you put on your that's lap. That's a cool move, by the way, I think. Do you remember the Phantom Lap Board? Oh, good yes. Good times, good times. It's like vaporware. So um, they actually released it. Yeah, anyway, nobody cared. Not the Phantom Lap Board. Uh, so this is on the website. They've been talking about Big Picture Mode for a while. Um, and it stands to reason that they've talked to hardware manufacturers about helping this. Because you're not going to hook up a giant water-cooled gaming PC to your television. You're not. Well, good point. Touche. Um, <laughs> Right over here on the side, it's actually a giant water cool You can't see it off. It just, just pan it's over. It's like as, as tall as the television. It's got a lot of blue LEDs. It's just it's such fans. a fan is so loud. Uh, so uh, they've been thinking about this a lot, um, how to get to the living room. And it stands the reason that they've been thinking about concept hardware. Um, you know, similar to Intel builds an Ultrabook. They don't actually sell you an Ultrabook. Somebody else does. But right. Intel designs a spec. And, you, and we were talking about this. And you, your thinking is like, if, if, if Valve is going to do it, it's going to be you think maybe a spec, kind of, and I, we said this in our article, like Android, it'll be like, here's our stuff, like here's the system, basically, go put it on your box, and, and you even, you know, we talked about Alienware, they made this, uh, what is the name of it, yeah. X51. The X51, which is, looks like, you know, the Xbox and the PS3 made love to one another <laughs> and gave birth to a large child, and it really does look like this hybrid of those two things, isn't it? Yeah. And but it looks like a console. It's very clearly designed to be a console. It's got HDMI hookups. It's got slot loading drive. I mean, you know, here Alienware is making a gaming console, and one has to assume that uh, Alienware, being one of the biggest gaming PC manufacturers, that Valve has talked to them about big picture mode. Right. You know, there's this idea that PC gaming will come to the TV, will come to the the, the living room. And I think you're seeing Alienware's maybe a little early here. I'm assuming other PC companies have Something like gaming boxes, right and then when Steam Big Picture Mode's official. Maybe it'll be an official Steam authorized. So you think this might happen? I think Valve is, I mean, it's already happening. You can go buy this right well, now. But, you know what I mean. but something more, more of like an idea. Because like, they've also worked on gaming, like controllers and weird. Yeah. This here's one of their patents. Yeah, they've got this patents. This is like you can for swap it. out different types of sticks and yep. whatever. So, so Valve's been thinking about this a lot. You know, how do you get PC gaming onto the console? Right. I mean, they're obviously thinking about hardware. Why would they patent this? Uh, yeah, I mean, in hardware is a, a big part. I don't think here's the difference. I don't think Valve has any interest in making hardware. So. No, but they might have interest in designing. I think hardware they very and saying, much want to divide, define use, a spec. Go make this. Thing. Yep.